All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today we are playing them Dark Lords, but we changed it up a little bit. We actually did. Uh, and with changing it up, uh, we're trying something new, more of the lithium-based turbo version, uh, not the Monarch version, which I think I think was fairly successful. I wouldn't say that, but no, we 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 are we are trying the goodness, which is pretty much just draw a shit ton of cards and get set up and then drop Christie on your bitch ass because I can. <laughs> like like that that's how that's pretty much how it's gonna go down here. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and grab that, then we can play trade in, trade you in, like Dark Lords. Dark Lords are kind of crazy. They, 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 they do have some crazy fucking plays. Like, I don't need this Dark Lord of the Dorado. All right, so uh, I got my altar. So I can actually go altar and then do that play like right now. Like, like you'll see, you'll see. And because there's a really low monster count, like despite me drawing monsters and you're like, holy shit, he's drawn a lot of monsters. No, 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 no. There's a low monster count in this deck. So we'll go ahead and summon this guy back. And then when he's summoned from the graveyard, he'll go ahead and summon the Dark Lord back, which I'll go ahead and summon you back. And these two won't last on the field for long because I'm gonna go ahead and activate you, pay a thousand to uh, shuffle back my search card, which will then get me yet another search, like. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll go ahead and get my Falling from Grace because, I mean, that trap card's, like, fucking great. Like, it's so searchable. And they got their own Regeki break. It's, it's just awesome. And then, actually, you know, we're actually going to tribute summon these two to then send a uh, Fairy Monster in my deck to the graveyard, which will be Christia. Like, and you see, and then next turn, I can actually use my Revival card that I have right here, summon back my... Uh, my my uh, superbia and superbia can come back christia and then you're just like oh fuck you know so that's great if you kill him i mean i get some cool invincible tokens so overall not not terrible you know like i, I went through a nice chunk of my deck i went down to 27 cards and i still have five cards i started off five ended with five you know so i mean that's that's totally great to go ahead and uh have that in the end you know and in the end it doesn't even matter so <laughs> all right so Playing some performer paddle shit, so nothing good comes from Sky Iris, so oh, always, always get rid of Sky Iris. Always get rid of Sky Iris. The Sky Iris has to be on the field this time. Once uh, you can target one of the power cards you control. Alright, destroy it. Yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and play your Sky Iris, then you're gonna target your parry. Well, I guess I could just get rid of your Skyris now, because I'm assuming that you want to activate your Skyris. You can only come to him summon three right now, so I think it'd be pretty decent just to go Falling from Grace and then pop your shit. Like, uh, send one Dark Lord monster from my hand or face up on the field to the graveyard. Well, I, I, do I need you? I would rather keep him, I and you are a 3,000 beater. Like, yeah, we'll go ahead and play Falling from Grace. We'll send my Ketsu and then pop your Skyris. Like, that, that's literally how you handle that situation. Ah, second donkey, so you want to get a freaking search. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually legitly fine, because I actually want you to overstand Pendulum Summon, do all that cute shit, and then get hit with the Solemn Warning, boy. Actually, next, next turn, you won't even be able to special summon, because I'm literally just going to activate Altar. Altar is going to go ahead and summon back Superbia, Superbia, summon back Christia. Then you can't special summon. Like, it's pretty much what it is. And because of the little monster cow, I actually did the deck a little bit different than listening. Who the fuck did he just grab? King Bear? Never heard of him. What does this bird do? Oh, once per turn you can change your pendulum scale? Oh, okay. Oh, that's really, uh, you can make this pendulum scale scale of seven. Okay. And then what do you do? Yeah, like, let me read out of this, because you, you, I'm, I'm seeing some people wrong that I've never seen before. This attack position card, this attack position card cannot be destroyed by spell or trap effect. This card gains 100 attack for each performer power card you control during your battle phase. And it looks like there's something else. Battle phase, something. Only, only, only. <laughs> like, it's all cut off. Like, no, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> like, if you're going to pendulum summon, then, you know, I want the good stuff. <laughs> yep. And, of course, Dragon will go ahead and pop himself. So, he's done some Pornal Pals, done some Odd Eyes. And, I mean, he might go ahead and fusion summon into Wolf Claw. Huh? Yep, and go ahead and grab that monkey board. Uh, I'm still, actually still wondering if they're actually going to ban, like, monkey board. Like, that would be, that would be, that would be terrible. That they just ban Monkey Lord. So I can literally just go ahead and bust out this play right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play Casting Out and I'm gonna grab me Tetsu. Yeah, I'm gonna grab me Tetsu so I can block my destruction of my shit. Just in case he, you know, he draws like a Regeki or something. 
then we'll go ahead and play Altar of the Dark Lord, summon my Superbia, Superbia summon Christia. You're locked out, like, of special summoning, and I don't know how much you love the special summon with Pentum mechanic. Like, I don't think this deck is gonna be, like, top tier shit. Like, maybe, maybe like, tier two. I could see that. It's, it's quick, it's strong, I have strong beaters, the deck is fast, and, uh, and I get to drop Christia at the, you know, the drop of a fucking hat. Like, you already know that fucking power, so. Like, you already know. Oh, he, you also have the Solemn Morning. Interesting, interesting. Don't want to discard the Tetsu Kaku Pool to block from destruction. No, I'm okay. Wow, so we both had Solemn Morning. Like, alright, alright. So, even if I kill him, he'll just be pending something back again. So, I might want that, though. Like, I actually... Because if, if I attack him and he goes back to the extra deck and then he sets up his Pendulum Scale and Pendulum Summons again, then it would literally be like semi play. I think he's going to play Monkey Bar, Monkey Bar, Skirt, Search for Skull, Crabat, Joker, Statue, probably kill him so he won't have a level 4 to try to fuck with me, you know? Damn, that sucks. I kind of wanted to get off that Christia play. So I'm just kind of going back and forth this, because I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and play your monkey board, search your skull crab at Joker. I'm just kind of pondering, oh, never mind, face, fucking face off. So Draco, Odd Eyes, Form Pal, face off, number generator, fucking get, uh, of course, get fucking uh, Solemn Warning and face off. Like, God, I needed that fucking Superbia, because this is this is probably going to start getting gross. I'm just glad that I fucking put him in the extra deck, because you punch or summon him, and then you catch this warning? Like, how do you feel? Bitch! Like, you know, what's really gonna suck is that he could just search for Skull Crab at Joker. No, he's gonna search for Sorcerer. Okay, well, uh, you can, if you have Odd Eyes, you can go ahead and increase that to seven, then you're gonna pin and summon everybody! Like, come on, come on, everybody get something. Yep. 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 And then you can catch this warning, too. Because I also got warning. You got warning, I got warning. Ah, ah. The thing is that you're still really into this duel because. You still have him. Wait, you can't summon him. You summon. You stop him and him, and then you can still pen them, summon these two, and I kill them. So you're still good. Ah, ah, ah. Never mind. I got my fucking cards. I can grab me fucking altar, and now I'm gonna Christia you. Like the, the the fact that this card can search Dark Lord cards. Period. Is just like wow. Like yep. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, you're locked out of the duel. And I did my deck a little bit different than this game. He played like the the, spe the fairy special summoner that was all hollow. I'm like, that's not even necessary. Like, I got so much revival just summoned to the graveyard revive. I was like, low monster count. And because low monster count, lots of spells and traps, lots of back row, guess what I get to play? Ah, did you just guess fucking card of demise? Yeah! Because that card is so fucking fair. It allows lower tier decks like this shit right here to drop Christy on your bitch ass to a uh, face against the meta. So it, it, it's fine. You should stay at three, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, so, uh, if he doesn't draw Regeki, then he's pretty much fucked. Like, like that's pretty much the, the gist. If he doesn't draw Regeki, he's pretty much fucked. Like, you can increase that to seven. That's a cool story, but I can't special summon, so. <laughs> like, if, and even if he draws Regeki, I could just play this and block the destruction. The only monsters he can pendulum summon would be him and him. If he, if he has, no, 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 damn, he, damn, he lost connection, he, he would quit surrender, he lost connection, alright, we'll get another duel, be right back, alright, another duel, so, uh, it was kind of funny that I recorded the daily duels last episode, like, like, when it was, uh, Dark Lord's last episode, I literally recorded it, and then, new cards got revealed, Lithium put up his video, and it's just like, god damn it, like, like, I actually put a disclaimer saying that, you know, that I already know. You can only activate the spec once per turn, right? Yeah, that's, that's definitely understandable. That can only be the spec once per turn. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and get my, my setup to play. Yeah? Like, I can go ahead and play this to search for a Dark Lord, and I'll go ahead and search for Osmodius. Alright, just get the Christia play set up because I can. Like, alright, so you're in the grave, you're in the grave, right? Because I pitched the same one of you. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and once again revive, revive Superbia, Superbia, uh, revive you. Like, this display is so fucking good. And go ahead and use you, pay a thousand to get a search. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for another altar, another altar. You can draw an emotion engines, but for right now I'm just, I'm, getting, I'm just getting that Christia play set up. Should be summon you two. 
like god i could easily see this deck being like tier two because it's i mean the players are just so strong especially with christia if you didn't have christia it'd probably be like yeah but because i have christia and because i mean literally like that it's probably one of the worst plays i could do and i'm not even drawing the like my freaking card demise is a call of hunted or anything we got trade in call of the haunted i mean trade in card demise freaking her like there is some fucking shenanigans in here or against destiny heroes all right so destiny draw trade in that uh Turn that Mally Foolish Plague Spreader and then go to town with some, uh, uh, Syncate Place, I'm assuming? It's not terrible. It's really not. Alright, send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist gets you to search, so... Maybe we'll be taking a kind of slow, kind of background... Despite the playing card demise, there's not too much background here. Like, I think it's just the usual Solemn Brigade. But, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm playing... Back row card demise is just I have a low monster count, high spell and trap card count. So if I empty out my hand, which is very viable, then I can just play card demise and draw deeper into my deck. <laughs> and drawing and getting resources, I mean, there's nothing terrible about that, right, people? Right? <laughs> so I'm guessing you're going to summon him and then, yeah, summon Drill Guy, special summon him, go into like an XC monster that can handle Osmolius, even though Osmolius is literally served his purpose. And what's his job? Send Christian to the graveyard so I can revive it. Like, that's literally the only reason why Osmolius is in this deck. <laughs> like I should probably drop him. I could probably drop him down to one. I'm playing two. I'm playing two of him and two Christia, because that Lithium did that, and I was like, okay, well, it seems like a fine ratio, but I could probably drop it down. Oh damn, this man's not fucking around. He's gonna go to Utopia and Utopia Lightning Lance. I thought you were just gonna go simple like one on one or something. I'm like, nope, nope, going in, in. All right, sure, sure. So the the sad thing is, and what? Oh, what? I did not know we were playing OCG. I didn't even check that. That's broken. <laughs> I hate, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. All right, all right. Fucking, we got Monster Reborn. League is fair, fair, no. Fucking stealing my shit from my grave. Took, took, took my Christie out like Scoop. Scoop, fucking. All right, Nate, remember, then you check and see if they're playing fucking OCG. We are back. Yeah, yeah, like, I literally went, I set the parameters for searching for a duel. I, it says TCG, like, it says the TCG ban list, yet it still pops up OCG hosting duel. For the band list. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, why'd you, like, why'd you, you want to fix that shit? Because it's stupid. It's kind of annoying. Like, how many times has it actually happened to me where I'm just like, oh, surprise, you're actually playing a fucking OCG deck? A couple of times, actually. A handful of times. Not a big fan of that right now. This hand's kind of, eh. Like, maybe if I draw like a trainer or something, this hand would be much better. Like, I need, it's like, pretty much need some training action. <laughs> and, of course, the obligatory blue eyes. The obligatory blue eyes. All right. <laughs> Can't, can't go a day without playing Blue Eyes. You know that's the top tier shit. Well, they got the alternate now, so you already know that they're really good. Oh my god, I'm sick and tired of facing this fucking deck. <laughs> and it's weird that he went first. Like, Blue Eyes, I mean, I don't want to go first because his hand is kind of shitty, but Blue Eyes like to go second so they can get that damage in so they don't have the extra shit to, like, banish and shit. Like, you're going to go ahead and send that stone and, what, summon the Blue Eyes during the end phase, I guess? Like, uh, just just kind of sick and tired of seeing blue eyes. Like, you really don't even need the, the, too many of the lower, lower ups. Like, you, Maiden is probably the best shit they've gotten in a while since that blue eyes shark deck with Maiden. You don't even need her anymore because the new blue eyes support. Like, you're way too fast. Like, Mausoleum? No, nah, it's not even necessary. Not even necessary. But we got to play our Burgatory blue eyes today, boys. So, there we go. This hand, this hand got actually got a lot better because of this. A lot, lot, lot better. So, I'm uh, actually just going to try to draw into a couple of cards. I'll gladly put Starkwoods around. I think I only play one of him. So I think I might drop Osmodius down to one, because I don't need him. I'm going to go ahead and get X. And get X, then I can go ahead and use X. Oh, I guess I could push the rival card, but I don't really need Dark Lords around right now. Pitch to draw. Like, it's so cool that they say cards instead of just monsters or, you know, specific things like that. Like, alright. Uh, I drew my card of demise, which is fine. It's just I kind of would like to get more shit out of my hand. So uh, I cannot special summon during the turn. I play card of demise, so I gotta take it slow, which is fine, I guess. I could play her. I could just kind of revive, revive her, and she could she can get me another search. Like really, I just need to get deeper into my deck and get more play set up. It's just blue eyes, blue eyes. This deck's kind of weak to blue eyes. Like he he can. Bust out some powerful ass monsters that I can easily handle. Like, 3,000, my stats are strong for Dark Lords, but they are not, like, him strong. Like, he's fucking, like, <laughs> 3,000 beaters and shit. Oh, can I, like, 
use this, like play that, use that, revive that, summon, summon else money, so that might be, should be pretty decent. Summon Dark Lord Zorado and shit like that. Like, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's see. This about this play, I didn't think of it, but this play actually might be pretty good. So let's shuffle that back. Then we can activate this pitch to pop your blue eyes and then get the, the Superbia out of my hand because I don't want the Superbia in my hand. Like, I would rather have that in my graveyard because I can call it Haunted It. Yep. Then I can Normal Summon, tribute these two for uh, Osmodius. Of course, Osmodius send the Christia and we're good. We're good. We got the call of the Haunted and shit. Like, maybe I should increase the, the lower the, the count of Osmodius and maybe Christia. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how many Christia I'm on. Maybe one or two. I mean, I'm running two, but I probably only need one. No, because if I draw her, so maybe Osmodius to one. Keep her to two. Increase Oasis, because the the way I could just interrupt by just being like, call the Haunted or Oasis during your turn, unlike the slower versions like this. All right, he surrendered anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tweak the deck a little bit. We'll get this. We'll get the Strike Bear back. All right, I did the deck. Uh... I took Osmodius down to one, and I took Tetsu down to one. Because he's good, but he can get in the way if I draw multiple of him, so I dropped him down to one. And uh, I put an upstart, and I put in... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what I put in. Uh, I put an upstart, and I put in one more Oasis, so two Oasis. Because I, I thought three would be kind of cloggy, and generally when you see people playing like Oasis, multiple Oasis and shit like that, we're drawing to you. Uh, we're still not drawing anything, and this is why we run upstart, so I can see that next card, and the next card could actually be into something that I actually need to play. So, that's nice. So, I, I could pitch this. I, I've already searched this turn. And then draw into more, and then trade in him, and then get deeper into my deck. Yeah, I'll do that. Do that. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright, then I don't need you in my hand, so then we're trading you, and then draw more cards. <laughs> like, let's go! <laughs> I could do that, but I think I'll just go ahead and set my hand and play fucking Card of Demise because fucking Card of Demise is so fucking fair, right? So, Card of Demise? <laughs> Drawing to more shit? I could trade you in. I mean, yeah, might as well trade you in because I'm gonna be drawing the shit. Oh, and I drew into the Christio, which means that I can just go ahead and revive it and lock you out of the playing Yu Gi Oh! So I think I'll save this. Like, how, 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 how do people think that this is fucking fair? That I literally just drew in a card of mine. Like, what? I, I drew in the card of mine. I drew three and saved one. This, you know, that's still great. That's still, like, hella, hella good. So, sure, I'll go ahead and pinch my hand. <laughs> like, look at this shit. Like, maybe I should play, like, Starlight Road in here because this deck is super susceptible to Twin Twister. Despite me playing Twin Twister. Like, super susceptible. Like, like I, I, I rely so much on my spells and traps that it's not even funny. I think I want to strike that. Yeah, I, I could gladly go ahead and strike that. Gladly. Gladly. Hmm. Alright. So you're going to set up your pendulum skills. I didn't know you were playing a pendulum based engine. So. Ew, eccentric. If I had something in my hand, I'm definitely Twin Twister's ass. The problem with me doing my play. You know what? You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and Oasis. And then I'm gonna summon Superbia. And then Superbia is gonna go ahead and summon Christia so you can't spell summon. And even if you use your eccentric to pop me. Uh, Superbia? You, you wanna go off? Oh, I think I missed timing because it's when. Because I chained and then it resolves this, the activation of eccentric, which means that I don't get my effect. Fuck. Fuck, never mind. Never fucking mind. I was like, I was like, I could chain and then, you know, do that play, but never fucking mind. Can't do that shit. So, alright, well, on the resolution of. Can I, like, activate my Call of the Haunted? Like, like, does, does, it, does it not allow me to activate my Call of the Haunted? I've been holding the A button and I'm like, I would like to use Call of the Haunted to summon fucking Christia, but I guess not. Like, wow, like, fucking, fucking YGO Pro, like, please, please work, you piece of shit. And then, of course, he snaps my fucking Call of the Haunted. I needed that, like, uh... Yeah, I might as well chain it. I mean, I'm not gonna get anything out of it, but... Like, wow, of course, he snaps my fucking Call of the Haunted. Like, alright. I mean, I'm still okay. Thank God he's not playing, like, fucking Phantom Knights, so he can, you know, get those two back and go and all that play. It looks like he might be out of plays, but, yeah, and then, of course, use that, pop that, that's fine. 
I'm still okay, but it's just like that the turn didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. Like not 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 at all. Not fucking at all. <laughs> so then play alter. Now I'm just gonna lock you out of the duel. Like I messed up with fucking Superbia. I forgot that it was win, so I missed timing. So we'll go ahead and send a Christia back. And then lock you out of the duel. So what's that? <laughs> so call the hunted and oasis her like a1 is just, I gotta make sure that I use Superbia properly. Then I was thinking about, you know, Superbia. Superbia was having Christia, and even if you get rid of my, you know, my Oasis that was connected to Superbia, Christia would still be good. But no. <laughs> so, I, I mean, then Christy wasn't doing anything too, you know, extravagant. Gets played with kind of, eh. He set up his pendulum scales, and if I had a card in my hand, I'd definitely twist. You know, I probably should have activated the set one so I could keep the other one in my hand to play Twin Twisters. But he can't really special summon anyway. Unless he has like Rikeki and then another pendulum scale set up with his last two cards, which he might. He might. It just depends on what he has as his pendulum scale, and all he's really gonna summon is eccentric. I'm trying to think like the worst case scenario. He has Rikeki, so he gets rid of the Christia. Sets up his pendulum scale and pendulum summons eccentric, like okay. Like Okay, I can just play all turn and really do my plays again. Never mind, he might actually. Well, he can't special summon. But here I have another performance power. You can pop this and draw, right? So, pop this, draw, maybe draw into Regeki. Regeki then plays Pendulum Scales and he would have these two, then make a rank three play. And I'm trying to think of the worst case scenario right now. <laughs> but he has to get rid of the Christia. Like, real. Really? <laughs> mm hmm. Draws into another card, so that's pretty powerful. And uh, that next card can easily be exactly what he needs. Nope, he doesn't look like it. So is it neither player gets special summon? Yeah, neither player gets special summon. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna go to attack mode with uh, uh, Superbia. Uh, can't go into any rank eights. <laughs> I do have some rank eights. I have some rank eights, some rank nines. I guess I can take the rank nines out because uh, I dropped the one guy who would, who would do the rank nine plays down to one. So I guess I can take that out. I don't know. We're gonna get another dual pair back. Alright, this will probably be the last duel. Like, this deck this deck seems like it's about to be straight up stupid. Uh, I would like to go first, so I'm gonna interrupt it and I get to do shenanigans. <laughs> Alright, so this hand is okay. Like, of course, first thing we'll always do is get that Ix Ixa. Get that Ixa, Ixa, go ahead and pitch uh, text, draw all into more shit, trade in the Christia, draw into more shit. Uh, set my entire hand, because I can, and then play Card of Demise, because I can. Like, so dumb. <laughs> card of Demise. I, I just don't understand how people think this is fucking fair. Yeah, sure, I have to be part of all of you. I don't plan on special summoning this turn anyway. Sure, grab me that Call of the Haunted. <laughs> uh, I can only save one. I guess I could save the other Card of Demise. If I don't, if there's a turn I don't special summon, because I don't, I have multiple Call of Hunts and Oasis. Yes. So yeah, I'll save this, and then this goes to the graveyard, which is fine, because then I could just, you know, revive it. So, that's fine. <laughs> I got deeper in my deck for no apparent fucking reason. I'm doing a terrible job at saving my fucking card, so. Fucking, once again, not paying attention to the OCG. Like, fucking, fucking YGO Pro, this fucking OCG shit. Yeah, like, I surrender. Like, fuck Twin Twister, how about you just get your booty spread open by Harpy Thunder Duster, because, fuck it, I'm not paying attention to the OCG, because I shouldn't have to! I literally search for TCG only, and it's like, here's some OCG duels! Like, why? Why, why, Geo Pro? Why? We're right back. <laughs> Alright, god damn it. <laughs> so annoying, like, <laughs> like, you know how off guard that, you know, it just takes me off tilt here, like a son of a bitch. Like, play this draw, because I didn't open up that well. Play Pot of Duality. Hopefully, get like a trade in or something. Like, that would be nice. Yeah, give me the trade in. Give me the trade in. Then I can go ahead and trade in, get deeper into my deck. Uh, I'll hold on to you because I might play you, but I'm probably not. So trade in. Let's drop two more cards. Eh, not the greatest. Not the greatest. So, I want this card in the graveyard anyway, so. Not gonna get the most optimal play out of Card of Demise, but I mean, I still get to draw fucking two cards, so fucking pot of greed. Go ahead and the second one's per turn, so I'll set that, save that, and uh, pitch by him. <laughs> it's Twin Twisters, I'm getting much work with fucking uh, Card of Demise, but it's cool. <laughs> so I could just literally just draw and then put Card of Demise on your ass next turn. Oh, Valdramas. Okay. Should be an interesting duel. 
No, that's fine. That's right. I don't want to give away any of my plays right now. You want to poke me with a fucking Ojama Green? Like, more power to you. Then just do something, like he gets a search or something. Once the turn, he can send one Ojama card from his hand to guy, especially when Ojama must from his graveyard. Like, okay. Nope. Drew another trade in. Well, that's kind of useless, so I think I'll go ahead and do a twister. Pop your set card, pop your filled spell, and then uh, go off on your ass because I can. <laughs> Like, I'm kind of pondering if I even want to bust out the Christia right now. Like, if that's even necessary, drop a trail. You could have chained that. Like, I can go Superbia, then Ixta, and then Ixta can go ahead and get me... Do I have my Switch card? Uh, the Revival card. So then that can revive me another, uh... Can I revive Ixta? I believe I can. Or can you only be special something once per turn? Something along those lines. It's not that you can only special summon one, yeah, Ixta once per turn. So even if I go activate my card, summon Ix Superbia, Superbia summon Ixta, and Ixta uses the fact, it can't summon that. So I think I'll just go ahead and just walk you out of the door right now. So, Superbia, Superbia, summon Christia. Like, this deck is dirty, like so, so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> just draw, 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 Oh, wow. I thought he was just gonna, uh, wow. Well, I don't plan on special summoning anyway, so card of demise. <laughs> wow, and then I, I get, like, the worst fucking card of demise that you could possibly get. Like, I guess I can fucking twin twister. Yeah, I might as well just twin twister. Like, wow. <laughs> get rid of that. Another geometry. I keep on forgetting that card, too. Set that this just to save it? Like, why not? Why not? I fucking went hella flat. Didn't plan on special summoning, so let me play card in my right? Probably could end this duel before we put, actually play special summon and play call of content. Oh, alright, I can't do any damage to you. That's fine. That's fine. And I pitch nothing! Yay! Card of Demise is fair, it's just they have multiples. God damn. God damn. <laughs> this man is struggling. That's fine. <laughs> You still can't special summon, so why do I give a shit about it? anything that you do? I thought maybe that set card was like, uh... Well, you couldn't even play the Andromeda Trio anyway. Ah... Can I get another card to Demise? Wait to strike for my, uh... Trap card. I really been, haven't been using my Trap card. I don't, really don't need to. I've just been fucking playing Christia that deck. Let's go. Uh... I'll take the strike. It's fucking selling strength, like, you can never go wrong with multiple selling strength. And this is the game anyway. Like, this is, this, these two are enough to tap for game for damage. So, I guess wrapping up that video early. A little tad is early, but still, wrap it up good enough. Like, mmm, mmm. <laughs> so, I, I took fucking Lithium's deck and I was like, you know what, that's good, but let me kick it up. And I'm like, little monster count, Cardamize? Let's get stupid with it. Because Cardamize is totally fair. That, that's, this is actually the first time I played Cardamize. This is the first time I actually played Cardamize. It's broken. It's broken. I don't care. I don't care how you think it's fair. It's broken. Uh, lower tier decks find upper tier decks. So, uh, so it's fair that I just used fucking Superbia and fucking Archer Christian card in mind to kick the shit out of fucking Ojamas. It's a lower tier deck finding a, a, a much lower tier deck. Fair. <laughs> like, I, I can't believe that that's, that's actually their fucking people's, uh, arguments. <laughs> But that's their argument, that because it allows lower tier deck to fight upper tier decks, it's a fair card to be at one. Like, did I just draw fucking three cards off of one? Like, not even Pot of Greed does that. And that's fucking banned and broken. Like, come on, come on. Card of Mice should probably be limited to one, at minimum. At minimum. If you want to go ahead and ban it, sure. But minimum, one. Then it would kind of be like Soul Charge. You would see it every once in a while and be sacky. But, I mean, no one's going to really play it, or you're not going to see it as much, so... It really wouldn't allow Lord Tier decks to fight up to Jacks because you'd only have one, but I guess you could keep trying it. I mean, I mean, it wasn't Cardamize that was really saving you. I mean, it gave you plus and resources, but it's that macro. So if you still got the hate, you could still play your pot of dualities and your one Cardamize, you might be able to pull something off. Maybe. 
Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. If you have any suggestions for the deck, go ahead and tell me. But, I mean, come on. The deck is already looking straight up stupid. So, yep. Also, I'm not playing the Change of Heart one. I'm not playing that. Uh, the one other thing that I was thinking is maybe drop my uh, Revival spell card down to two and then put Oasis to three because that way I can play it during my opponent's turn to interrupt them while my spell card can't be played during my opponent's turn. But then, of course, that card can be picked from my Ixta. So, I don't know. I don't know. There's back and forth with both of them. But we're playing one of my uh, Rick Ahead, right? None of this change of heart because it's not even necessary. Like, I'd rather just get rid of your shit than, you know, take your shit temporarily. I already have beaters. I don't need to take your monsters. No. And, uh, of course, triple of my searcher, triple of the revival spell card, and then triple Ixta, one Tex, Texel, the, the blocking destruction on the level 9 guy, triple Superbia, one Osmodius, which we've been doing a lot of Osmodius in the beginning, but now it's kind of slowed down in the end of the later half of the duel uh, video. And uh, one Dark Lord Serato, because the only one you want to Christian. All right, so uh, hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow playing them Destiny Heroes. Thanks for watching.